Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm sharing with you all my version for cauliflower wings. And this episode is especially dedicated to Lata. So I hope you enjoy this one Lata and everyone else. So let me show you how easy this is to put together. So guys, to so my flour, I'm going to go in with some cornstarch. So I'm gonna go in here with some salt to taste. Don't put too much, guys, because the sauce is going to flavor this. And some black pepper. And give this a mix. I'm also going to go in with some paprika. And some annatto or uku powder. That is going to add some color to this recipe and once you mix in those ingredients you're going to add water to create a pancake like batter or mix it depends on the type of flour you're using you may use more or less water so I'll show you guys the consistency I'm going for and when you add your water that's the consistency you're looking to achieve so guys look at the consistency it's like a pancake batter consistency so once it's mixed in let's move on to the next step okay guys my son is pretending he's cooking so we'll just move ahead with this recipe while he's here so you're gonna take your cauliflower pieces and I've broken them up into florets and we're going to put it or dip it dip it into Mommy? this batter. Mommy, we dip it. Dip it. Shake off any excess. There you go. And next, we're going to roll it into our panko breadcrumbs. And this is going to create a really crispy exterior. And then you take this and you place it on a wire rack on a cookie tray. And what this is going to do is it's going to help it remain nice and crisp on all sides when it's baking. So I'm going to continue to do this until I've breaded all of the cauliflower and then we'll move on with the recipe. Okay guys, I finished breaded the cauliflower. So now these are going to my oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10-12 minutes until they're golden. If you wanted to spritz this with some oil or some butter that can spray, feel free to. So guys, this just came out of the oven. They have a nice golden color. They're not too, too brown and they're nice and crisp. And they still have, a, they still can hold themselves. You don't want to overcook it where it gets really, really mushy on you. So now we're going to set this aside and let's work on the sauce. Okay guys, to make this sauce, we're going to be using some eggless mayo, which you can find in any supermarket now. And you can put as much or as little of this sauce on your wings as you want so to that mayo I'm going to go in with some sriracha sauce let me show you guys what it looks like this is what it looks like it has this green iconic cap and a chicken at the front and to this I'm going to go in with some sweet chili sauce which you can find at any supermarket and this is what it looks like they're different brands, so feel free to use whichever one you find. It doesn't have to be the same one I'm using. And now give this a good mix. Forgot, but a little bit of light soy sauce goes in. Light soy sauce is a low sodium soy sauce and it's not dark like the regular soy sauce. And mix. Look at that beautiful coral color. So you can taste your sauce and make sure it's to where you would like it to be. Okay, so for this recipe, after you've placed it into your bowl, I want to give you all two options. You can either do it this way, which is tossing the sauce with the cauliflower, or you can serve the sauce on the side. So feel free to choose whichever method or whichever way you'd like to serve it. Now I'm going to drizzle the sauce and I don't want to drown the cauliflower. I just want it to, you know, slightly or lightly coat the cauliflower and I'm going to toss and as you're tossing you will know if you want more or if you want less of that sauce so I want a little more now because it's cauliflower with the shrimp I use the less of the dressing 
be very gentle. You don't want that nice crunchy batter to come off of the cauliflower. And you're going to mix, mix, mix. I think I'm gonna be using all of my dressing because I find some of the cauliflower pieces, it needs that sauce. And these cauliflower pieces are really huge, guys. So if you're making it with smaller pieces of cauliflower, of course, don't put as much dressing on there. Now that looks amazing. So once mixed in properly, go ahead and plate. And to finish this, I'm going to garnish with some chopped chives for that pop of color. Okay, so guys, now to taste. Yummy. So guys, it's not mushy at all on the inside. It has that crunch, that sauce. It's just amazing. And I can't wait for you all to try this. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. Make it down below. Remember, as I said, you can serve the sauce on the side or you can toss it to coat and you can switch it up and use any other sauce you want. So if you enjoyed today's recipe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for requesting this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.